time. It waits for no dog. It just keeps rolling, often leading to a very hairy conclusion. All right, Teddy, let's go. One in need of remedy. Hi, oh, you're excited. In the rush of work and play, finding the time to book a dog grooming appointment can be challenging. Not unless that groomer is willing to come to you. Hi, Nicole. Hey, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you too. This is Teddy. This is Teddy. Hi, Teddy. Shampooch oh, travels anywhere to homes, to businesses, even to parking lots. So, if you want to do any shopping or look around, I can meet you back here in an hour. Sounds great. Wonderful. For the most part, I'm at people's houses, but another benefit is that, uh, you know, if you take your dog to work and that's easier for you, then I can come right to your workplace. Hey, bud. Owner-operator Shayla Libin's easygoing demeanor is reflected in her don't come to us, we'll find you approach, as well in her affection for animals. Her mobile setup creates an environment that reduces the stress of a haircut as much as possible. To begin with, I only have one dog in there at a time, unless if I have a two-dog household, some of them come in together, so they don't have the distractions and sometimes stress of other dogs. Usually a worrier, Teddy settles into this Whistler resident's trained hands in the warmth of this retrofitted heated van. I have everything on board. There's water tanks hidden in the back. There's a water heater inside, a furnace. I do also have uh, air conditioning for the summer. There's a big grooming table and a big tub in there. Everything's uh, electric, so it goes you know, up and down. Truly a bicycle built for two, there is just enough space for the one-hour sessions that are offered in Pemberton, Whistler, Squamish and North and West Vancouver. I do all sizes of dogs. I do from, you know, little Chihuahuas and Yorkies up to uh, a couple weeks ago I did a 180-pound English Mastiff. <laughs> right now, business is busy with spring shavedowns and cleanups, but the biggest challenge sits behind the wheel. So far the biggest challenge has been the winter time and getting up some of the steep snowy driveways. Hello! Oh, oh and here's Teddy. Who are you? <laughs> oh, he looks A woman on the move, making the life of another woman on the move so much easier. From Whistler, I'm Nicole Fitzgerald for Shaw TV. Thank you, and uh, he looks very happy. Soon. You bet. Thanks. Okay. Bye. Bye.